Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome to another Cheap Old tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be covering Sons of the Forest and how to set up that server. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the Gpo website and then click on Rent a Server. Next, scroll down to the search bar and type in Sons. Here you see Sons of the Forest. Now I already have a server set up for eight slots. Click on your server, load it up. Here, right above my head, you'll see where it says basic settings. We're gonna click on that. Make sure your server is offline. And if you need a server, guys, don't forget to use the link in the description for 10% off your server. So, let's get to it. The first thing we wanna do here is Sons of the Forest server name. We're gonna change that to our server name. Next, you can choose how many slots you want on the server. Now, I ordered eight. Choose a password for your server. For example, it's not what I'm going to use, but whatever. Uh, game mode. Now, you can choose peaceful, normal, hard, hard survival, or custom. Now, if you choose custom, um, please note that you will have to adjust the settings yourself, okay? But for this, I'm going to use hard survival. Next, the same mode will be new, unless you wish to continue from a previous save. Save slot one. Um, if you have more than one save slot, you can use up to five, but for this one, we'll choose one. Okay, moving on to the next section. Extended settings. For this area here is the auto save interval. Now, it says 600 seconds, uh, 600 seconds. I would probably leave that as is, but that's up to you. Moving down to idle day cycle speed uh, as a multiplier to how quickly time will pass uh, compared to normal gameplay when the server is considered idle. That's when no players are connected. So we'll leave that as zero, but that's up to you if you wish to make it real time. Um, active target frame, uh, frame rate. So uh, the target frame rate of the server when it's not considered idle. So one more player is connected. So that's up to you if you want to leave it 30 or you can go 60, I think. I'm gonna leave it for 30 frames, see how we get on with that. But you can adjust that as you see fit. Moving down, we've got tree growth um, and structure damage, and I would leave them on, otherwise you run out of trees on the, on the island. Now, if you wanna make it harder, you can do. It's really up to you guys. Uh, custom game mode settings is where we're gonna hit up next, and this one is for the veil. Um, so their enemy spawning, we can show their health, normal high, the enemy damage, normal high, um, enemy armor, all that kind of stuff, aggression, spawn rates. Now for the spawn rates, I would put them as high from, you know, a little bit of danger. We're going to have it in autumn, um, or you can start in spring. It's really up to you. Um, I'm going to start it in autumn to make it harder. Environmental season strength, uh, length, I'm going to put, uh, realistic. Uh, environmental day realistic and the our environmental perception frequency now this one is rain or snow so that's up to you i'm going to put that as high um for survival consumable effects i'm going to change that to normal leave that as normal survival player stat status damage like rotten food and drink and things like that so leave that as normal and cold penalties leave as normal survival reduce food in containers and you know, if you want to reduce, like turn this off, you get quite a lot of food, but if you leave it on, you'll get reduced food and single use containers. So, and then we're going to put that to show less. Okay, moving on to the next section now, which is owner's whitelist. So if you need your Steam ID, the best way to do it is go over to Steam ID and then just type in your, your name there and then just Click there and add owner. Now your owner's added. For file manager, this basically um, is just leave it as is. You don't want to mess around in here. Moving on to restarts here, we're going to put in daily restart. Like that. And we're going to set that for like say six in the morning or something along that average timeline. Because I know nobody's going to be on there. That's done. Moving over to backups now. Now, automatic backups 
um, I'm going to put on and leave as is. Now, if you don't want to put back automatic backups on and you do it manually, what you would do is turn that back off like so and then scroll down to manual backup and click create a backup and that would back up your save. Now, remember, they do get deleted um, after a while. So I think it's 60, yeah, 60 days they can be removed. So focus on remembering that, take a note and just go right, I need to back that up. For permissions, I would leave that as is. If you do need support from GPO, you can click here and click write a ticket and then just fill in the issue that you have from your server. All right, guys, don't forget to use the link in the description for 10% off your server. I hope you have all had a great day. I'll be covering some more of um, Sons of the Forest and how to find your server as well as some Sons of the Forest gameplay. And obviously, if you want, you can just turn on your server. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.